And for the second year in a row, the Steuben County Jail is taking advantage of its courtyard by turning it into a giant garden. Today, WENY Samantha Potter toured the inmate garden and learned how it's keeping inmates on their best behavior and doing something productive. It may look like your typical backyard garden, but in fact, these vegetables belong to the Steuben County Jail. It's part of the county's inmate garden program. It's therapeutic. It's very relaxing. It's a learning experience. It helps you. It gain, you gain knowledge about planting and what you can and can't plant around here in the soils. The gardens are run completely by the inmates. From buying the supplies, to planting the seeds in the garden, to maintaining it throughout the summer. And besides providing the inmates with something productive to do, Sheriff David Cole says it increases morale throughout the jail. So this kind of pulls them in line if they want to get outside, enjoy the sunshine, do a little work, garden work, um, or other various jobs we have outside, and they have to mind their behavior inside the jail. The food from the garden goes right into the jail kitchen, saving taxpayers at thousands of dollars a year. Last year, four garden beds produced 2,000 pounds of vegetables, saving taxpayers $5,000. This year, the garden has expanded into 10 raised garden beds. Uh, we have tomatoes, beans, snow beans, corn, cabbage, Japanese cabbage, carrots, cucumbers, squash, zucchini, onions, garlic. Three times a week, low-risk inmates that haven't been convicted of major crimes can garden a few hours a day. 25 inmates work in the gardens in the evenings and help supply food for 250 inmates. The gardens are funded by the inmates who buy items from the jail commissary along with donations. The area farmers will come and donate the plants and they'll donate their time and give us a little of their expertise on how to uh, you know, accomplish the things that we're doing out here. The jail plans to continue expanding the garden across the courtyard until no space is left. Reporting in Steuben County, Samantha Potter, WENY News.